Don't put that in your mouth, we have a camera. <laughs> so, okay, so here we are once again at the ISS Awards After Party. Uh, this man is Graham Lord of Fairport Yacht Management. Yacht Support. Yacht Support, Fairport Yacht Support. He didn't win an award, so why are we talking to him? Well, he's from South Africa, and the recipient of the Distinguished Crew Award is a captain from South Africa. From South Africa? Correct. He's on holiday in South Africa, and Graham was the guy who turned up on stage to pick up the award. So here we are, we're going around talking to people a little bit about the winners and how they're great winners. And I know you know a little bit about this story, so tell us all a little bit about this, Graham. We're in the service industry. Yes. People like Michael, Captain Mike O'Neill. Captain a, Mike O'Neill. Is a fantastic example of how the service should be done. He doesn't look for any kudos. He doesn't look for recognition. He looks to just be a great service provider. And that is absolutely why he deserves to, to get the award. Over and above that. Well, I was going to say, there's a lot of captains who do that, but he did something a little bit more special, he didn't did. he? He, he is a philanthropist. He puts back not just in his effort towards his crew, but also into the arena that he makes his living out of. We all make our living out of the sea. He, makes, he always puts back into any project that will benefit the sea. Along with the hurricane that hit St. Martin, he knew that that is an important destination and the people there needed to be supported. So he started an initiative to raise some money to try to help those people out. He was smart enough to partner with the owner of the boat and do a 50-50 match on whatever money was earned, the owner would have matched. So that's great generosity from the owner as Very, well. Yes, but he had the gumption to approach his owner yep. and ask for the assistance, which I believe most of our clients, owners of yachts, would do if they were approached by somebody that they Respected. Well, there's a lot of great owners out there, aren't there? As They're generous as, souls. As long as you're approached by somebody that they respect, is not doing it for their own well-being. No, they know it, it they, comes for a good they're reason. Working, I believe that's working towards the greater good. Excellent. And I think there is a, a responsibility from everybody. None of us are starving. There is a responsibility for all of us to do something for the greater good. I think you're absolutely right. And Michael is an example. So now, before we, before we cut off, uh, we, what I'd like you to do is to tell us the name of this project, because he's, he's kind of named Named the initiative, hasn't he? People can look it up and find out about it. Well, let me tell you something. Mike is so humble that he actually has never told me the name of it. He does it on his own. Oh, so it doesn't have a big publicity thing? Nothing. So if somebody wanted to support this initiative and, and, and join in and help contribute to it, how would they go about it? I would say you'd have to call Mike and ask him about it. Okay, how do they call Mike? Uh, you'd have... Can they, can, can they send the message to you? Because you've got his number. The, another option is the, the yacht that he on, is on is the Yacht Catherine. Yeah. Go onto the Yacht Catherine's website or alternatively, go into my company website, Fairport Yacht Support. Okay. Send us a message and I'll make sure that... Okay, so that's Yacht Catherine, Catherine with a K. And, uh, or you can go to Fairport Yacht Support to get a message to Captain Mike and how you want to support this project. The project with no name. The, project, with no the project which did some pretty cool things. Yes. Thanks very much for talking with us, Greg. Thank you, Ken. We've been at the ISS Awards After Party. Carry on with your sushi now.